Alrighty, so we've got our crickets breeding down here. Um, to make it more successful, you're better off using a light, putting a light in there, keeping them nice and warm. Now, they generally live for about three months, and when they're chirping, once it's sort of above 28 degrees, they'll start chirping. Uh, after they've been growing for about two months, they'll go into their breeding cycle. So we've got the females down here. And the males, the males obviously are the ones that chirp or stridulate. And what we're going to do is we've got some nice uh, peat moss here and some dirt mixed together. And we're going to pop that in there for the females to lay the eggs in. So give them something to climb on here is a bit of a bit of an old chucks, they can get in there and then lay their eggs. So we're generally just giving them carrot most of the time, a bit of a little bit of uh, lettuce is good as well, they do like that, they get their moisture from that so you don't have to put uh, water in there if you don't want to. Also if you've got water in there with a light you're going to get a lot of condensation maybe a little bit too much you want to try and keep it a dry environment and then of course have lids on them that are fly proof so the flies can't get in there and lay their eggs now we'll see the females in a minute they'll make her way up into there the females actually have if I can catch one there's one there oh we might try and film just there you can see He's got that oviposta at the back there. It looks a little bit like a, um, a stinger, but it's not a stinger. It's the oviposta. So that's the male there. He doesn't have the long tail-looking oviposta, but the female does there, which is sticking straight up in the air. And that's what she uses to deposit the eggs into that soil there. So if you look closely, you can see some eggs in the soil. And generally now when they're chirping a lot, I'll put that in there and then I'll leave it in there for a few hours. We'll wait and come back and see how many females are laying their eggs in there. Alrighty, so we can see some of the females in there depositing their eggs. I want to leave that container in there for two or three hours and then take it out because if you leave it in there they will actually come along, some of the males and other females, and eat the eggs. So once they've laid in there we'll put it in a separate container, we'll give it a misting every uh, couple of days, about two weeks later we should start getting our tiny little pinhead crickets and their lifespan is about three months, after about two months or two and a half months they will be fully mature and they'll start chirping and getting ready to breed and the whole cycle will start again. It takes about two weeks for the eggs to hatch also. So lots of nice fresh carrots, bit of heat, somewhere to lay their eggs once they're mature and it's quite easy to breed your own crickets to feed all of your lizards.